Hello, everyone. This is probably the first time I'm introducing myself to all of you. Uh, I'm Neha, and um, this is uh, a small slideshow that I've put together um, of a few images of my favorite works, a little bit about myself, not too much. Um, it, it's not very long, so I really hope you, uh, you, you like this video. And um, also, I hope all of you are staying indoors and stay safe and take care. And I hope my videos actually keep you company. Uh, so let's begin. So um, this image that you actually see is um, from an exhibition uh, in uh, Chitrakala Parishad in Bangalore, and uh, it was oh, it was an amazing experience. Um, it was, I think, if I'm not wrong, I think it was in 2016 or 20, I think in 2016 or 2017, and um, we had um, an incredible response. And um, this was this was one of my favorite pictures from that exhibition because you could see that I am so happy uh, after that exhibition. I mean, this was. Uh, something that my husband clicked and uh, it's it's just uh, I thought this was this was probably an appropriate picture to start off with um, just to show you uh, you know that I am the most happy uh, when I'm around my work. So um, here what you see is a um, a combination of probably uh, my most recent work. Um, I've been working with terracotta especially for a very very long time now uh, mostly um, you know in terracotta jewelry making and um, like you see here I personally see that there has been a growth in terms of uh, how I used to be um, you know when I when I had my uh, say in the beginning way back when I when I started uh, terracotta jewelry uh, my designs were uh, definitely required a lot more refinement and uh, um, could obviously use a lot of improvement, uh, but um, you know I realized that with constant practice, with um, you know just just keeping an eye open to um, a lot of things around you, um, color, uh, textures, patterns, nature. There's so much that one can get inspired from. So um, if you see, in fact, I um, you know in in most of my jewelry, sometimes I it's not all terracotta. I try and um, do a lot of mixed media, uh, maybe using thread beads, maybe um, you know uh, bells, little brass bells, um, different uh, styles of dories. And when I say dories, I mean those um, those handmade cords which are typically used for assembly. Um, and it's um, I'm, I'm, it's, it's something which is commonly available all across India, and um, I absolutely love that style of uh, jewelry. And um, yep, I mean, you know, I just um, there are days when I when I wonder if you know this is getting a little monotonous in terms of work, uh, but I think that's where creativity comes through. And um, you know, we I sometimes uh, what I end up doing is I sometimes tend to draw some designs that probably um, you know come up in my head or sometimes when I'm just working with clay I just you know roughly cut it out and realize that okay this is a shape I can work with. Um, sometimes you must have seen me use a coffee stirrer for patterns and I am not a minimalist when it comes to uh, jewelry. I do a lot of intricate work when it comes to terracotta and very rarely will you see me leave something plain. And um, I, I actually don't mind that. I kind of like that. I I am, like I said, I'm, I'm in no way a minimalist when it comes to, uh, you know, creating jewelry pieces. I like fill it up. Every nook and corner is filled up. Yay. So that's uh, that's me. Um, this is an old photo. I mean, uh, both of these are, um, you know, it was I, I would say about 2016 or 2017, I think. Um, and I had made I had made these uh, really heavy pieces of jewelry, and you see me wearing them. Um, one on a Kerala sari and one on a cotton, um, you know, printed sari. And um, I love wearing saris. Uh, you know, it's something that I really love. And um, yep, I think uh, you know I I personally have nothing more to say about this uh, because I I'm not somebody who uh, you know I I personally don't accessorize too much and um, 
but but when I do, I I genuinely make sure that you know I I have a photograph to save that uh, because I don't accessorize much. So yeah, this is something that um, this is something that um, these are pictures I really like um, because um, well, I, I if I remember correctly, this is also probably um, you know one of the one of the first times I'm wearing something uh, this heavy on me and. Uh, you know, I for a very long time, I probably thought I might not be able to carry off something that heavy, but um, well, I, I I received good feedback for this, so I'm thankful for that. This is another. Um, it's a favorite of mine, actually, uh, because that's I think it's it's a it's a big um, I think it was uh, it's roughly about two and a half or three inches in diameter, and it's a pretty big pendant um, that's on a cord. And um, I kind of like this style a lot. Uh, I think it's it's very me, and um, I especially like the earrings and how they look and look on me. And uh, yep, this is this is one of this is also one of my favorite pieces on me. Most of my designs are um, Indian inspired uh, colors, festivals, um, tradition, the traditional uh, or the traditions and. Um, I, Everything. I mean, so you would see that, um, you know, I use I use a lot of maroons. I use a lot of pinks and greens and golds in in, in my work. Uh, but I also try not sticking to that all the time. And uh, I'm pretty sure in my recent works, you must have seen that I've kind of broken away from that and started using maybe a few more pastels. I mean, earlier I wasn't sure at all about using pastel colors um, uh, on terracotta. And I always thought darker shades or uh, you know maybe looked better like you know typical greens and golds black and gold red and gold maroon and gold I, I just thought maybe only those traditional combinations would look good but i was completely wrong i think um you know the the combinations and how smartly you kind of combine it and put it in one piece uh, you know especially pastels for example um, my recent favorite is grays and pinks um, i love how those two colors actually look and um, yeah, I think in my recent videos, I think you must have seen a bib style um, necklace that I've made in that combination with a yellow cord. Um, I absolutely love how that turned out. And uh, I actually can't wait to wear that piece because that's something I made for myself. That's um, that's my husband um, and myself. And um, there is a picture of me obviously wearing a sari and I love wearing saris again. I repeat that. And that's a that's a terracotta necklace with the earrings. And uh, I'm also wearing a, um, you know, a jhumka with the white kurta. I think that's a favorite jhumka of mine. I think it just goes with everything because I think it's a yeah, it's a maroon and a black and a gold combination. I think I wear that very often. Um, so, yeah, I think. Um, these are pictures and I just thought it will be nice for me to put my husband's picture along here just so that, uh, you know, because he's the one who uh, who kind of encourages me and he also, uh, you know, takes a lot of pictures and uh, well, all these pictures that you see here are photographs um, that's actually clicked by him. So, yeah. Every piece of what um, what I make every piece individually you know is there's a lot of attention to detail that has been given and i'm sure um, that the videos that um, you know i put up um, kind of justify that every piece is individually made and then fired and um, you know assembled together in uh, and even assembling i mean there are so many variations to that because ultimately that is what um, you know also that also adds more variety to the to the final piece. And um, as you see over here, I mean, these are uh, slightly more simpler. Um, some of them are mixed media. In fact, uh, obviously, the black one that you see is um, is is combined with thread beads and brass bells. And uh, the lotus one is just with a uh, dory, a green, beautiful green uh, dory. And um, the paisley one is all terracotta. I mean, those beads, everything, the gold beads, the, um, you know, every, every every element of it, except for the cord and the adjustable bead are, it's that's wooden, uh, but everything else is, um, is terracotta. 
this is um, I think by far some of my most um, heaviest pieces um, you know this is like um, it's it's beautiful when it's worn um, I have actually never worn it um, you know it was made uh, and uh, it, it all obviously got sold as well thankful for that um, so these pieces uh, in fact you know I don't do too much of mirror um, you know too many too many things like that but this piece, um, you know, I just loved that I added those little kundan stones and uh, uh, the mirrors, which just added so much more beauty to the entire piece. I loved the outcome of that piece and the grandeur that it um, that it has. Um, you know, in fact, looking at the photo itself, um, you know, you see th that's actually an antique gold. I'm not sure if you can actually make out that in the picture, but it's it's a gold that's mixed with a little bit of black, uh, but it still looks so grand and um, really beautiful. Um, and so is the, you know, so is the bird necklace uh, with those those really, really pretty jhumkas. Um, you know, I, I totally, um, you know, I just had to share this because when I made these pieces, I was so happy with the outcome of this. Uh, the way it was put together, uh, when when the whole thing came together, I was um, I was really happy, and this still um, you know remains as one of my favorite pieces. Again, an old um, you know something that was probably way back in maybe 2016 or yeah 2016 I think sometime in that 2016 yeah. So yeah. So this is my ceramic jewelry, uh, the glazed uh, ceramic jewelry collection. Uh, now, I recently started working on these and I love the outcome. Uh, it's definitely more work because it goes back into firing once the glazes, once the under glazes and glazes are on, it goes back into firing. So, um, you know, it, th th these, these pieces typically have um, two sets of firing and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely work, but I, 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 I so enjoy the outcome of, uh, you know, pieces like these. Uh, they are not, uh, they are very different when compared to using acrylic paints. Um, so, uh, you know, just that this is, uh, if you see that even the assembling in this, I've tried basically using mixed media. I've tried using a, a cotton dory with thread beads and, you know, that's, I think the thread beads are probably, uh, you know, right up there on my, uh, you know, favorites in terms of assembling and the, and the dories. Uh, or the chains, uh, you know, the assembling cords, if you want to call call it that way. Uh, but um, I really like it, and uh, you know, I just hope I get to do uh, a lot more and learn a lot more of this because uh, glazing is something which is not a topic, which is something that I'm not extremely familiar with, and uh, I am learning. Uh, so uh, I just hope I get to do more and more of these uh, and probably learn a lot more in this. So um, yeah, I'm actually coming to the end of this. Um, so I sincerely hope all this content, all these videos that I, um, you know, share um, on our channel, um, you know, is helpful to each and every one of you who wishes to pursue uh, working with clay. Uh, may it be as a hobby or may it be for any other reason that you may want to pursue this. But, you know, I just hope um, you really find, um, you know, these videos useful and, um, you know, I'll also try to share information and links that will probably help you get the right kind of products. It's just that sometime, um, you know, especially with me uh, not being, um, you know, so when I started, um, you know, terracotta jewelry, I never used to do a lot of online shopping. And um, I used to actually do a lot of groundwork going to different places, trying to figure out, um, you know, materials and different sources, uh, you know, I would just go to these places. I mean, I would not, it would not be like, you know, just go up on Amazon and uh, look it up or something like that. But um, so, which is why I think when a few of you, a few of you ask me about links, I, um, I struggle a bit because I, uh, you know, I, I would recommend some things to you if I have used it. But a lot of times I might have to share links with you, hoping that that's, you know, that's going to work well for you. So that's one of the reasons why I sometimes have trouble uh, sharing certain links and um, yeah, I, but then I sincerely hope I'll, I'll still continue to upload um, content and videos that I, uh, and I sincerely hope it's, it's useful to each and every one of you.
Thank you so much, um, all of you, for your time uh, that you spend on watching all our videos, including this one. And if you liked this one, please hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, thank you once again for watching and see you in the next video.